What's up guys, this is the guy in tech here and this is the brand new iPhone SE. I've just literally got this phone a few hours ago so this video will be about my unboxing experience and my first impressions of the iPhone SE. For those who haven't heard about it, Apple launched a new iPhone on April 15th. An iPhone that looks like an iPhone 8, has the processor of the iPhone 11 Pro that is the A13 Bionic, has an updated single camera system and you get all this for just $399. Yes, $399 for the base version with 64 gigs of storage. You would have heard about this phone over the past couple of months or at least know this device by its different names like iPhone 9, iPhone SE 2, the iPhone SE 2020, but Apple simply calls it the iPhone SE because this phone is viewed as a successor to the original iPhone SE. Also, if you head over to the Apple website and look for the iPhone 8, you won't be able to find it because the iPhone 8 is discontinued or you can say it is replaced by this iPhone SE as it looks like the iPhone 8 in every aspect. This is currently the cheapest and the smallest iPhone that Apple makes right now. So let's start this video off with the unboxing experience. box looks like any other iPhone box with the picture of the iPhone on the top and the iPhone logo and the Apple logo on the sides. The color of the logo and the text match the color of the iPhone, so in this case it is red. Once you open the box, you'll be able to see the design by California envelope. In enclosed within the envelope, you'll be able to find the warranty, the manual and the Apple stickers. An Apple product unboxing without the Apple stickers is just not possible. You also get the SIM card ejector and the product red card. For those of you guys who don't know about the Apple product red program, Apple contributes a part of their product red iPhone purchases to the global fund to support HIV and the AIDS program. But now it directly supports the fight against the COVID-19 virus. The card still says that it supports the HIV or the AIDS program, but Apple clarified saying that the iPhone product red purchases will now go to the global fund to fight against the COVID-19 virus. So if you're confused as to what color of iPhone SE you should buy between the black, white and the red, maybe knowing this will help you make a better choice. So once you keep the manual and the design by California envelope aside, you'll be able to see the product itself. Are you getting any nostalgic feelings seeing that home button there guys? This is the iPhone SE 2020 guys. Let's keep the phone aside for a while and see what else do we get in the box. We get the earpods with the lightning connector, you get the USB to the lightning connector cable and you get a power adapter. This power adapter is 5 watts but iPhone SE 2020 supports fast charging but if you want the fast charger you need to buy it separately. The fast charger is not included in the box. So this is what you get in the iPhone SE box. Now let's talk about my first impressions of the iPhone SE 2020. My initial reaction seeing this iPhone was how small this is compared to today's standards. The iPhone SE has a 4.7 inch Retina HD display. Let's talk about the screen sizes a bit more. The iPhone 11 has a screen size of 6.1 inches. The 11 Pro Max has a screen size of 6.5 inches. The OnePlus 8 Pro has a screen size of 6.78 inches. And the Galaxy S20 Ultra has a screen size of 6.9 inches. So compared to today's smartphones, this screen size is way too small. But it isn't actually that small. This phone is viewed as a successor to the original iPhone 5SE. I have the original 5S right here which has the same screen size as the 5SE, that is 4 inches. So I guess Apple thought 4 inches is way too small for phones to have in 2020. So 4.7 inches is what defines small and compact phones in 2020. Also guys, just for your information, Apple announced in 2016 that they sold over 30 million units of 4 inch iPhones back in 2015. So it would be of no surprise if people actually like the small screen size on this particular iPhone. The most obvious change that you would see on this iPhone is that the Apple logo on the iPhone is moved down and centered towards the phone. Whereas earlier the Apple logo was way up top as you can see here in the case of the iPhone 5S or the iPhone X. The back of the iPhone SE is made from durable glass and the phone itself is in an aluminium frame. What else attracts your eye when you look at this phone? The bezels. Yes, there is an iPhone with bezels in 2020. But let me tell you this straight up. If you are a person who just doesn't like the iPhone 8 design or 
the small screen size or the bezels, then probably this phone isn't right for you. Because this phone shares the same design as the iPhone 8. It almost looks like a clone when you put it next to the iPhone 8. The iPhone SE has a black front face and this, is, this isn't only for this particular iPhone. All the iPhones from now will have only black front faces. So no more white front faces for the iPhones. Also, if you look at the bottom bezels, you can see the Touch ID. So the good old Touch ID is back. It has been ages since we have seen a Touch ID on the bezel and not inside the phone screen. This also means there is no Face ID on this particular iPhone. This iPhone SE has an advanced camera system. It has a 7MP front facing camera, a 12MP rear camera, and it can also shoot 4K videos up to 60 frames per second with optical image stabilization. I'll be talking about the camera in detail in my complete review, which should come out in a week or two from now, so that I have some real hands-on experience with these cameras. Now, let's talk about something that's really important, something that makes this phone relevant in 2020. Currently, all the Android flagships run on Snapdragon 865, and their price ranges start from $699, and it goes all the way up to $1400 or $1500. But Apple decided to go against that type of pricing by including the A13 Bionic chip in the iPhone SE. The iPhone SE with the A13 Bionic chip is practically faster than all the smartphones that released last year and theoretically it should be faster than 95% of the phones that released this year as well. Let me be a bit more clear, the A13 Bionic is what runs the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So, the apps and the games that run on this phone should run the same way as they run on a fully maxed out $1500 iPhone 11 Pro Max. Also, because of that A13 Bionic chip, you get the same software updates as the high-end iPhones. And also, you get an extremely long life for this iPhone. When I mean extremely long life, I mean at least 5-6 to six years minimum. I never thought the Apple would go for the overkill by including the A13 Bionic that is their fastest processor in the iPhone SE for just $399. I never thought that would be possible but Apple went ahead and did that. The iPhone SE supports dual SIM which means you can have one physical SIM inside the phone and the other one is an eSIM. The iPhone SE is also IP67 rated which means it is water resistant for up to 1 meter for 30 minutes. It is also dust and splash resistant. The battery on the iPhone SE should last you your regular day of usage and it also supports wireless charging. The battery optimization due to the A13 Bionic chip on the iPhone 11 series has been terrific so it should be the same case here but I won't know that until I test it out which I'll be doing so for my in detail complete review. So that's it guys, that's my first impressions of the iPhone SE 2020. Do let me know down in the comments what do you want to know about the iPhone SE and I'll answer all those questions in my in detail complete review. I'll be doing a camera and a video test, a battery test to test out how much long does it take to charge and how long does this battery actually last throughout the day. I'll also be running high end apps and games just to make sure how does the processor handle them. And most importantly, I'll be talking about if this phone is right for you. So stay tuned to the channel for that in detail complete review by hitting that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you will know when I upload a video. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, stay safe and peace.